we are going to solve the second equation for y. We get y equals we get y equals 3x plus 9. We're going to substitute that in for the y in the first equation. So we get 1 fourth x plus 2 times 3x plus 9 equals 1, which gives us 1 fourth x plus 6x plus 18 equals 1. We're going to combine the x values and subtract the 18 from both sides. So we get 25 over 4x equals negative 17, and x equals 68, negative 68 over 25. We're going to plug the negative 68 over 25 in the first equation. This will give us negative 68 over 100 plus 2y equals 1. We're going to add the negative 68 over 100 to both sides, giving us 2y equals 168 over 100. Now we're going to divide both sides by 2, giving us y equals 84 over 100. So the solution to this system of equations is going to be negative 68 over 25 and 21 over 25. Now we're going to graph these two equations. We see the y-intercept in the second equation is 9 and the slope is 3, so we will use that to plot the line. Now for the first equation, we are going to find the y-intercept by substituting 0 for x, giving us y equals 1 half. Now we're going to find the x-intercept by plugging in 0 for y. giving us x equals 4. Now we can plot those two points and graph our line. And we see that these two lines meet at negative 68 over 25, which is just a little over 2, and 21 over 25, which is, which is just a little under 1.